all right i know i got a couple comments on the gauges um well these is the newest pair i've been having these maybe what, about three weeks they good i can touch the screen i'm talking about just barely touch it everything works perfect um these two i'm sending back for repair because the screen the screens are damaged and uh i think these here let's see if i can get some more light so these here I don't know which ones, but I think these, these here, yeah, these are probably about a, no more than a month old. But when I first got them, you can even see my thumb print right there. But I've been having to push hard on them just to get them to, see it's still, just to get them to go to another screen. So I'm pretty sure pressing down on them uh, with my thumb messed them up worse. But I should have took it back the same day, but I got kind of busy, so I know I never did take them back. Uh, like, like I say, same thing with this one right here. But this one right here, it, it, I mean, it, I can barely touch it, and it goes perfect. I have no idea what happened to this screen right here. I don't know if it hit something or what, but these went out first. I swear, like three days later, the same thing happened to these. So I don't know if y'all jack y'all want to put some better protection up on the screen that, but it's still sensitive to touch, like this one. Um, but like I say, I would advise anybody to just try to use the app. I don't know which one of these is. Let's try this one. So. Just use the app as much as you can and you probably just turn it on right here with the on button and then just use the app because these screens are sensitive, I guess. Like I said, I really like these gauges. My attention get two for commercial, one for residential because I'll be working on multiple compressors for commercial. Uh, other than that problem, I mean, this is the second time I had to uh, send them back for repair first time the sight glass was leaking on these whenever I put nitrogen or refrigerant or something in it but they repaired that so if you ever get them if you don't want the store that you bought them from to get them you got to just fill out this service uh, request form and then the other jacket would just send over a authorization form which I'm printing out now. No. Uh, so I'm going to print this out. Don't look like it printed too well. I don't know what's going on with my black ink right here. Why did I not print that? Get, get the unit, unit turn pump, please. I don't know if they need that or not. Let's see how this one come out. This one doing the same exact thing. So anyway, I'm going to have to do something to straighten that out. Let me try a black and white copy. But anyway, I'll do that later. Um, like I said, I'm gonna get ready and ship them back. Try to catch the post office before they close. But that's the update on them. See how long it take them to get back. Last time I uh, uh, needed to get repaired, it pretty much took about a week. So that's the update on those, but in the time being, I'm just gonna have to use the those for everything. Go pull out my analogs, but um, that's it. So I'm gonna see how I can print this thing. Got to go when I go to the post office. See if they can print it out for me, so I can get get them the right information. I don't know if it's free packaging or what. I used to get the store that I bought it from, the supply house, to send it back for me, but I decided to do it myself this time. All right, that's the update on the yellow jacket.